Good afternoon everyone. This is Sayyid Fasyadim, Assistant Professor of ISL Engineering College. Today I am going to explain you about operational amplifier which can be work as an integrator. So before proceeding further, let us take a glance of the previous class. In the previous class we have discussed about block diagram of operational amplifier. Then next part we have proceed about its sum, summer amplifier next part we are discussing is integrator of operational amplifier so let us see the circuitry, dis circuitry part of it how the operational amplifier can be work as an integrator so as you can see over here we will be having two part in it one is the inverting another is non inverting so now how it can be work as an integrator in the first unit of our pulse and digital and linear integrated circuit we have discussed about operational amplifier part now what actually we are doing is we are going to learn its application part how the operational amplifier can be worked so now see over here what we are doing we are connecting two terminal one terminal we are making a ground by connecting one resistor towards it so like this we are connecting one resistor second we are giving supply to this and we are connecting one resistor in series to inverting and we are connecting one capacitor towards it so capacitor we are connecting in feedback which is passed to the output terminal from here we are finding V out towards this and next is what this is a feedback capacitor we can write CF and the current what we are passing the input current passing from this is I1 having resistance of R1 and we are getting this terminal this is just nothing but like a junction point between input and the output so here the feedback current we had is IF at this point if we apply the junction law or Kirchhoff current law what states that entering current should be equals to the leaving current so in order to get this complete response so let us take suppose this is R2 I want to take this junction point I want to find what is the current across this junction point in order to find out what I will do it I will apply KCL at for example this is your node A KCL at node A so what I can use I can use the input current suppose input current is I1 is equals to the feedback current IF so what is input current we can write by using the Ohm's law suppose this is your having voltage V1 and having resistance R1 so this is V1 now that I can write as input voltage VI of some time domain T so what I am writing I, I1 is equals to V input by your resistance R1 so I can write over here is V in by R1 similarly we know the voltage across the capacitor and the current across current passing towards the capacitor is IC given by D voltage of your v, DVC by DT so this IC and we know that IC is equals to IF because in feedback we are connecting one capacitor so what I can write I C I F I can write as C into D by D T of V suffix C. So what is V suffix C is nothing but the voltage across the output because this voltage is pass getting from this end. So we can write V in by R1 is equal to C into D V out by some D T. So in order to remove this differentiate and differentiation, what we are doing? we are integrating on both side so integrating on both sides what we will get if you integrate on both sides we get integration of V in by R is equals to C into integration of DV out by DT so what we will do this differentiation integration will be cancelled and we left with this part so what I can write for this terminal I can write as So what I can write for this, I will write as V in by R1 is equals to integration differentiation gets cancelled, we got V out by C V out by whatever the resistance, whatever the things we had, we can write it over there. Here we had what? Integrating. So shift this on right side, so I can write 1 by R1C integration of V in can be written as V out. So if you remove this proportionality constant, what I can write? V out is proportional to 
integration of V in. So now voltage across the output is proportional to the integrating of the input voltage. So hence our operational amplifier can be work as we can write as output is proportional. So we can write output is proportional to integral of input supply. Hence, op m can be work as integrator. So in this thing what we are doing we are not considering any initial condition. So we are writing V out of T if you had some initial condition of V out of 0 initial voltage we are assuming as 0 then V out we can write as proportional to integration of V in. So this is the output of our operational amplifier which is working as an integrator. So thank you for listening. If you understand this, please do comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you.